Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to the sandbox mode after an extended break. Everything has been a little bit hectic around here. There's been a whole host of issues which I've outlined in the community tab and Twitter, but now I'm hoping to be back into From the Depths. I know it's been a long time, but here we are once again. So, with all that out the way, what we're doing today is building something a little bit cheesy. The reason is, it's not as cheesy as it used to be, and I would like to make it somewhat more interesting today we're building a nuke but not any kind of nuke we are using the jets we are making a proper long range nuke that gets spawned at one of our construction yards and then gets fired all by itself before hitting a target this is incredibly cheesy but with the increased cost of the nukes now being 2500 each it's not quite as bad, and honestly, every time I've tested nukes, as much as they are cheesy, the reason why they were so bad in the past is because of their sheer cheapness. You could spawn absolute swarms of these things, and then you could kill very expensive enemy craft if they don't have anti-air. But now, that's not really the case, so you really have to select your target. Plus, I love the idea of just firing these missiles from so, so far away to hit perhaps enemy um, resource craft or something like that because of the sheer speed these things are going to move. So it needs to be accurate, it needs to be quick, and it needs to be as cheap as possible whilst still being able to have enough resources to actually get to the target. So again, less cheesy than it used to be, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Now I have made these in the past, but they have been very cheap and they have been with the intention of being spawned in combat, so they're very, very small. This time, I want to use Mimics, I want it to look good, and I want it to be just sheer fun. So, we're going to get started by building a very quick, very small custom jet. Now, this lovely intercontinental missile is most likely going to look something somewhat similar to the Grey Talons missile, since I know they have one of these, but I have purposefully not looked at that, so... Expect this to be a little bit worse than that one, but that's the basic gist of it anyway. So the compressor, the combustion chamber, the exhaust, it's all very, very small. Um, we could go with just extra injectors instead. I'll be messing around with a lot of this stuff later on. Right now I just need a functional jet. It doesn't really matter after that. Okay, good enough. I wonder how fast this thing can go right now. That's uh, 31,000 thrust and it's 2 material per second. It better move quickly, let's just say that. Let's just throw down some fuel for now, so... With this amount of fuel, it could last 500 seconds. So actually, that's not too bad. Give it the ram behavior. There we are. Uh, for now, let's just say it's an airplane. Okay! Our intercontinental ballistic missile wants to go, and it will! 132. That's actually a little bit slower than I expected, but not too bad. Especially for only two... Yeah, actually, two material per second isn't all that awful. So, if we were on the proper campaign map, so... Let's say I fired it from here and I wanted to hit over here. Would it have enough resources to do that? Oh, yeah, definitely. So, hopefully, I can keep the engine down to about that size, if not smaller. Because we could use these small custom jets. Oh god, that's covering ground so quickly. That's going to be deadly if this thing works. Moving out. Oh, <laughs> well, water's its weakness, who would have thought? So let's see, what's the minimum I'm going to need then? So for controlling this thing, we could use jet engines, but that would require an actual engine, a proper engine. We could just try and use the control surfaces. I know there's the tail plane, there's the pitch only, the yaw only, so... Let me just mess around a second using the IIPIDs. That must do this, there we go. And we'll see how that goes. Already costing 3,000, that's before we add the actual nuke itself. So yeah, this thing won't be cheap enough to constantly be used is the idea. But it's going to be so bloody fun. Okay, I've just threw on two air elevators and two air rudders. Yeah, I mean, looks better already. Can this thing already control itself? Like, really basic controls, I mean. Seems to. 
Yeah, it's turning. Oh my god, that was really bloody easy. I wouldn't have thought this would be so simple. Now though, in the past, the main issue I've had with these things hasn't so much been making it act like a plane. Honestly, this is how easy it is to build a basic plane when it comes to just movement. Um, it's hitting the target reliably. Every time I've done this in the past, I have ended up with issues of it simply not wanting to actually land on the target, despite my best intentions. So that needs to be addressed. I'm just shocked this thing's already working, though. Like, I've done nothing with the PID, and this thing, yep, it happily turns and everything else. I mean, we can make it turn faster by adding some more air rudders, which I probably will need since I want it to be able to hit multiple targets, even quite quick ones, but that is the basic core already done? Okay, I am shocked. I am certain this won't work, but let's just see the basics of its control. Yeah, it's going to do the spin now, isn't it? The death spin. Wow, yeah, it needs way more your control. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens if you don't mess around with uh, control blocks and stuff and you just say, please ram this target. It does not understand. I appreciate it's kind of trying. This must be a very confused Marauder. Okay, if you could just stop doing a drift for now, thank you. Let's uh, let's get back to work. Oh my god, 13,000. Yeah, this is not going to be worth it ever for actual use. Of course, we are going to use it regardless of that, but yeah. I feel less uh, and less bad about making this every second. Ignoring the one currently spinning around, this is my first proper test. All collision avoidance has been turned off, and some of the settings have been streamlined a bit. It's still probably going to do the death spin, but hopefully actually hit the target this time. I mean, it's kind of pretty- how did they sync up so well? Oh my god, don't hit each other. Or do- Oh! <laughs> okay, need to make it more, uh, <laughs> more inclined to hit the target. Okay, RAM AI has been turned off. Instead, now it's just got the pointer AI, and I've turned off every failsafe. So essentially, it's always going to be trying to point directly towards the target at full speed and hit the water a little bit early there. Though, that's one of the problems. It could have been pointing at one of the blocks underwater. So what I need to do is give it a aim point selection so I can tell it to not go after that specific block. Okay. So now it should go for a much higher block. Right at the back of the thing, which is annoying, but oh, look at that turn there at the end. Fantastic. Yeah, so it knew where it was going. Oh, I did forget to put the nuke back on. <laughs> yeah, it's like that single piece of wooden block. Okay. I think I've got it, though, now. I think I've got the basic gist of what, how I want this thing to work. So this is with the PID off. Again, back to the whole wiggling thing. Yeah, that would really throw off a lot of defences, but it's not what I want. Okay. How about against aircraft? Oh, especially one that's moving. Oh, close. That was a genuine miss. It was trying and definitely pointing at it originally. Well, it got there in the end. I think it just needs to be more agile. Um, I think it was trying its best, it just didn't have enough um, movement parts. Essentially spawning this thing in backwards there, just to see its ability to cope with um, severe angles. It has now got more control, and the PID has been weakened, so it should be more extreme, and, yep, yeah, that was perfect. Oh, I can't wait to test this thing out against the, um, <laughs> the Onyx Watch. <laughs> we will make the waters radioactive. So there's very little else to do now. Uh, the only thing we need to really decide on is, should I armor this thing up? I think maybe we should have two variants, one armored, one not. 
Because here's the thing, the non-armoured variant, okay, this one, will be faster. It'll also be cheaper. So, it's cheaper, it's faster, and I don't really want to try that away. It's currently only costing 6.4k. I did test as well with multiple nukes. I don't think they're actually helping um, if one nuke detonates them. So, I think I'll leave that. But what I might do is put the nuke a little bit further back. Yeah, rather than having it on the very front, at least, that could offer it some protection. If I do that, though, I will need a control block to, um, to automatically detonate it, because right now we're detonating based on just the kinetic damage to the nuke when we hit things. If I put it back, like, here, I might need to detonate it manually. So, let's see what happens then. So, put the nuke there. So, very, very light armoring with this version. Still want the control panels at the front, since that was helping out a lot. So about here? Actually, how big do I want this thing? It doesn't need to be huge. Maybe ending about here-ish? Or here? Yeah, let's see if we can get this to work. Think I may have messed up some of the control- Oh, yeah, I didn't actually add the control blocks back. Okay, never mind. This is just a test of the nuke itself. Never mind then, um, we don't need a manual detonation, it's still enough damage to break apart the actual craft, which will then set off the nuke. The nuke is now sitting a little bit further back though, so it might impact the damage a little bit. But, this is going to at least survive very, 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 very light arms fire. We can um, pack the nuke in completely using um, light alloy. So it might survive one shot, whereas before it would literally survive nothing. I don't actually think I need to use too many mim uh, too many mimics on this thing. I'm still going to use them because I want the um, back to look better than this, but... Yeah, I am happy with this so far. How am I going to put the control at the front? Yeah, I'm just going to put it right at the front and then use mimics to hide them. That's exactly what we're going to do. Did I just go through the hole made by the previous one? I think it may have. If not, it was a close miss. Yeah, that's absolutely fine still. Okay, time to start mimicking it up and making some final tweaks to pretty much everything. Then, we are done. How on earth am I going to use the mimics here then? So, I'm going to look up some proper pictures of these things. I'm not saying I'm going to try and make this look realistic, but maybe for a bit of inspiration. So a steam boiler for the body. I have no idea what I'm going to use for the nose cap, though, is the problem I'm currently um, getting. The back's going to be easy, because I can just um, I can just use these. Actually, uh, I can use these as well in the middle of the craft to give it some texture, so that's super easy. So the back's going to be easy, the winglets are going to be easy. The only thing I'm not 100% certain on is what I can use to make the nose cap. Because it needs to be bigger than I could possibly give it. Plus, I am using the air rudders at the front, so I want these to be completely hidden. So how do? I swear I've been placing down almost every block I can find. The only things I can find which have somewhat of a resemblance to what I kind of want are things like the sonar here. Maybe the radar. Nothing else quite has what I want. So if I put this down, then maybe I can add a small steam boiler at the back just to kind of make it look proper. I'm not sure if that's going to work though. Still refusing to look at the other nukes in the game. I don't even know if they are actually using um, mimics at all, so I don't know if that would help me. Probably would, but I refuse to at the moment. But I have now been here for 20 minutes looking at every single block I can find. <laughs> kind of? Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that, shall we? Oh god, that looks horrifying. Oh, I don't know. I do not know. 
Problem is, I am running out of time right now. Um, a lot of the issues I was talking about before are still plaguing me, and they need my attention, so I don't have <laughs> all day, but... Yeah, okay. Okay, that... Yeah, it kind of works. It sort of works. It sort of kind of works. It looks more like a bullet right now, to be perfectly honest, but it kind of sort of, maybe kind of sort of works in a way, kind of sort of. Wow, that fits perfectly. So that's the small jet. I was using the large version first, but no, I massively prefer that. Okay, you know I'm not... I don't hate it. I don't, which is rare for me. Definitely need some more work, but you know, that's not bad for a quick bit of work. I can see why um, people get addicted to using all the mimics and making... Honestly, spectacular things. It's never going to be my cup of tea completely, because I'm just not that artistically creative. But, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Why is my thrust messed up? Oh, yeah, I removed some of the intakes. I'll re-add those quickly. It looks so much bigger than it actually is now because of the mimics. Must you always go after such weird blocks? But there we go. I would consider that a rousing success. I do think the nuke has to be moved a little bit more forward, but that it really isn't a huge problem. It's actually incredibly easy to do, and there's a few minor tweaks I want to do, but that's it, really. Uh, the nuke is completely finished. We have our missile. So with that, if you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. I'll be tweaking this off camera, and I'll definitely be using it in the next video of the campaign itself. Sometimes it still wants to miss at the end. That's a few things I can fix very easily. So, thank you so much for watching, have a lovely day, do take care. And I've just looked at the window and apparently it's now daylight. I've been recording all night yet again. One day I won't be nocturnal. Today's not that day. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.